Okay guys, welcome to Mugen tutorial number 5. Today we're going to cover how to add, uh, what do we want to add? Oh yeah, life bars. I got a question, someone was like, yeah, how do you add life bars to it? Um, well, it's, it's different for, for a bunch of different life bar packs, but I'm going to see if I can help you guys out with that, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Uh, what I did for my favorite life bar pack, for example, the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike pack, is I took the files, when I first downloaded it, all the files were just scattered. You know, they were all in one folder. And they weren't sorted to how you needed to implement them into Mugen. So I, um, you know, I sorted them into the folders they needed to go to and then compressed it so that when you uncompress, they'll automatically go to where, you know, the folders they need to go to. Assuming that you decompress into the root, root of Mugen. So, um... Yeah, I'll show you an example of what I did. First, I'm going to run Mugen to show you that I haven't changed anything to it. Freaking Kung Fu, man. Alright. Alright, there you go. So that's the standard Eve Battle life bars. Now, here's how you add the custom light bars that, I, that I've got stored on my website right now. Uh, we're going to go to this link. And here's where you can download Street Fighter 3 Third Strike's light bars, for example. And just to show you, you know, my website's back. Yay! Um, you know, if you, if you say press enter, it's going to ask you if you want to download it. Of course you want to download it. And I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to go straight to that file. There it is, Street Fighter 3 Live Bars. Now when I double click this, here's the, uh, here's the folder I was telling you about. You know, it's uh, everything's going to go straight to where it needs to go. You've got the files that are going to go into the, the data folder, and then you've got the ones that are going to go into the font. When I extract these, Let's go ahead and browse. Uh, administrator desktop. I'm gonna extract it straight to the root of my Mugen folder. I'm gonna say okay. Extract. You know, it's gonna ask me if I want to overwrite. Yeah, overwrite, sure. Yes, overwrite. Alright, now that that's done, there's one more step that needs to be you know needs to be taken. We're gonna go back to your, your Mugen directory. And in here, you're going to go to your data folder. And then we're going to go to system.def. Now inside your system.def, you're going to go to uh, this right here, where it says fight.def. I don't know if you can... There we go. That should make it better. You're going to change fight.def to Street Fighter 3... Third strike life bars. Oops, I can't type. Dot death. Because one of the files that got copied once you extracted is that. There it is right there. Street Fighter 3 life bars. Let's see if I can go down a little bit. Yeah, this file right here. Okay. So now that I added that to the system.def, I'm going to save. Yes, save. And let's go run Mugen again and see what happens. Prepare to strike now. All right. Bag it. Okay. So that's how you um. That's how you add light bars. Uh, the easy way, anyway. Uh, you guys saw all I did was download. I downloaded that zip file from my website, extracted it to my Mugen directory, and then I modified the system.def, uh, that that fight.def line, and then there you had it. You know, it changed changed my life bars. I'm gonna. If anyone's having any trouble with any other life bar packs, let me know about it, and I'll go find it if I don't have it already somewhere. And I'll I'll modify it, you know. I'll make it. I'll recompress it so that you know all you have to do is the same thing that I just did right there. It's way easier in my opinion. Uh, you know, it didn't take a lot of brain power. Okay. 
Now, uh, here's the newest addition to my website. I, uh, I added a forum. I gotta switch PCs. I added a forum to my, my website. Called Mugen. As soon as I'm, as soon as this thing catches up with me. There we go. All right. If you look right here, this is fresh off the plate, guys. Inside this this new form that I'm creating, I've got two links already. I've got one where you can get Eve Battle. And what I've done is I I made two uh two two compressed eaves. Uh they're both basically it's no limit wind mugen with uh eave combined to it. I, I created two because it's uh one of them's the sort and one's the non sort. So now you don't have to worry about combining them. I figured I'd do this so that people would uh people that were having trouble uh switching from sort to non sort, if you just download it now, it, it already comes pre equipped with that. So you know I figured that'd help people out. And I've got another another thread that I just, you know, I'm still working on. I'm probably going to be working on forever. And this one's going to lead to uh, characters. And, you know, give you a quick taste of that. It's like, you know, when you click on it, it's going to lead you to a huge disclaimer. Please read that. It's important. And it's going to have all the characters that I've got. And, you know, they're going to be ready for download. They're, you're going to see their picture. And, you know, you just click on their picture. And then you can download the character. Just like that. How's that? I'm gonna do this with stages also. It's it's gonna take a lot of time because you know it's like, I mean honestly I'm a busy guy. I, I try to squeeze this stuff in, but you know through your support and you know like, like donations, appreciate that. I can uh, I'll keep doing my work so that you know we can all have fun with this stuff because that's what it's all about. So there you have it. Um, that's a few things I wanted to go over in tutorial five. Uh, that's all I have for now. Thank you.